Defense Updates has reached more than 150,000 subscribers. We're genuinely thankful to our viewers. You keep us going. Follow us on social media. Support us on Patreon. All links in description below. Videos on social media appear to show Russia's Su-57, a prototype of a new fifth-generation fighter jet, operating in Syria, and it could be a direct threat to U.S. stealth aircraft like the F-22. The appearance of four Su-57 fighters in batches of two each at Syria's Hamamim Air Base has got defense observers and analysts talking. Justin Bronk, a combat aircraft expert at Royal United Services Institute, told Business Insider that initial attempts to geolocate Su-57s shown in the video indicated the deployment may be authentic. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes the capabilities of Russia's most powerful fighter, Su-57, and why it's deployed in Syria. Let's get started. Number 5 The Sukhoi Su-57 is a fifth-generation, stealthy, single-seat, twin-engine, jet, multi-role fighter aircraft designed for air superiority and ground attack operations. Its successor of Su-35 and Russia's answer to American F-35 Lightning II and F-22 Raptor. Although most information is classified, sources within the Sukhoi company and defense ministry have openly stated that the aircraft is stealthy, super maneuverable, have super cruise capability, incorporate substantial amounts of composite materials, and possess advanced avionics such as active phased array radar and sensor fusion. A prototype first flew on the 29th of January 2010, and this is the first time the fighter has been deployed. Russian Air Force has ordered 12 of these for its own use, with estimated eventual purchase of more than 150 in the future. Number 4 The Su-57 is the first operational aircraft in Russian Air Force service to use stealth technology. Similar to F-22, the airframe incorporates planform edge alignment to reduce its radar cross-section RCS, the leading and trailing edges of the wings and control surfaces and the serrated edges of skin panels are carefully angled to reduce the number of directions the radar waves can be reflected. Weapons are carried internally in weapons bays within the airframe and antennas are recessed from the surface of the skin to preserve the aircraft's stealthy shape. Also, radar absorbent material RAM, has been used to reduce its radar return which makes it difficult to detect. Number 3 Su-57 is designed to have extreme maneuverability at both supersonic and subsonic speeds. This can provide it with brutal advantage in dogfights and help it defeat missiles with extreme evasive maneuvers instead of entirely relying on stealth. This is the first fighter jet to utilize 3D thrust vectoring. It has movable leading edge extensions LERX, just ahead of the air intakes. This enables engine thrust to be pointed in different directions, providing increased pitch, roll and yaw control. F-22 also utilized thrust vectoring, but it's only two-dimensional, up and down for pitch control. Super Cruise is the ability to sustain supersonic flight without using fuel-inefficient afterburners. F-22 can Super Cruise at Mach 1.82 and has to employ afterburners to reach speeds of more than Mach 2. Su-57 can reach speeds of up to Mach 2 without an afterburner. Number 2 The N036 Belka radar system for Su-57 is developed by Takamarov NIIP Institute and consists of a main nose-mounted X-band AESA radar, two smaller X-band AESA radars mounted on the sides of the forward fuselage and two L-band arrays on the wing's leading edge extensions. This provides Su-57 with 360-degree coverage. With its onboard Belka radar station, the Su-57 is speculated to have the ability to detect stealth aircraft and track over 10 targets simultaneously. The Su-57 also houses an infrared search and track sensor at the base of its windscreen, 
providing it with another option with which to detect enemy aircrafts apart from Belka radar system. IRST sensors can track objects like an aircraft by its infrared signatures. F-22 Raptor has one AESA radar and there are no IRST sensors. Number 1 The Su-57 has two large internal weapons compartments, taking up practically the entire useful length of the aircraft. Each compartment can carry up to four K-77M air-to-air missiles, which have a range of nearly 200 kilometers and serve as the rough equivalent to the US's AIM-120 advanced medium-range air-to-air missile. In ground attack role, the main base can also accommodate air-to-ground missiles such as the KH-38M as well as multiple 250 kg KAB 250 or 500 kg KAB 500 precision guided bombs. The aircraft is also expected to carry further developed and modified variants of KH 35UE anti ship missile and KH 58 USHK anti radiation missile. Two short range infrared homing heat seeking K 74M2 missiles can be carried in the wing root weapons bay. For missions that do not require stealth, the Su-57 can carry weapons on its six external hardpoints. Su-57 chief designer Alexander Davidenko has said that there is a possibility of the installation of BrahMos air-launched supersonic cruise missiles on the Su-57. One or two such missiles may be carried, giving it the ability to perform long-range precision strike. There could be three factors that prompted Russia to deploy Su-57 in Syria. Number 1. A large number of F-22 stealth jets operate in Syria, the main rival of Su-57. The diverse array of powerful radars in Su-57 could be used to spy and perfect anti-stealth techniques and battle plans against the US's F-22. Number 2. Russia has often used Syria as a showroom for new hardware and it most likely wants to market the Su-57. This is especially important for the Indian market in light of the joint Russian-Indian Sukhoi Hale 5th generation fighter aircraft program. The public launch of the Su-57 last year and its deployment to Syria could be aimed at convincing the Indians that the FGFA is a real project, which has a prototype that not only flies but is capable of operating in a war zone. Number 3. The deployment sends a political message. Though just four planes is not enough to provide Russia with an overwhelming military advantage in the Syrian theater, it would cause Russia's potential adversaries to think twice before any misadventures. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.